floor for Cook, pickpocketed by Collins. Hokies with momentum. <laughs> Lane King with a tomahawk, and Tech takes the lead right back. Some turnovers. Look at this big dunk from Lane Kidd. Got a bucket early. 5 4. The ball handling from Padula. That was unconventional. Let's see, that is an and one. Rim on the way down. Close to the contact right here. You see, Moisteris. Jay Collins with seven seconds. Probing around the arc. Collins with the left hand. Lane Kidd. No look pass, kid, the flush. Really nice play by Sean Padula. Great pass from Kidd, and there's Robbie Barron. We've seen some really nice post-to-post -post passing. Drag screen up top there. You can see how much they're trying to help down low there with Kidd. And inside for a dunk. Louisville had pulled on over but didn't stay there. This first half, almost to the midway point. Chance to tie or take the lead. Head of the 10-minute mark with Kidd on the spin for the slam. Absolutely love the move. And lifted, and then look at this move by Kidd. You see the body to body. He didn't give him space, and he was able to feel it. Swatting the shot from Collins. Virginia Tech the steal. Kidd out the way. How about the big fella being able to show his handles? Fiorillo setting guys up, taking John Becker's advice and shooting more. And so is this guy, Lynn Kidd, working on the double-double, adding to it. And then this time he's going to come back with the left hand. Lucky Les Jones, two veteran guys out there. There's Lynn Kidd with a slam. Ten points already for Kidd. MJ Collins ready to check in for the Hokies as American continues to hang around. Tech is led by as much as 11. Wide open down low, Lynn Kidd, seven for seven. No three-point baskets made in this game. In fact, Wake hasn't attempted one yet. Your thought with how they're taking it to the basket by Woodjack. There's Kidd for his first dunk. Not a lot of time on the floor in the first half, back from the foot injury. Well, there's his teammates standing around as you watch the that particular play. The ball goes inside to Kidd. The true freshman point guard, Rex Steiner, out of the halftime break for Virginia Tech. Kidd on Reed with the hook. So I think they've got to they've got to throw the ball inside more and try to establish a post presence inside and get going with some paint points. Nickel on the money to start the second half. It's not like one guy gets more attention than the other. Yeah, and because of that, they're going to get some open threes. Like right there, they swarm to the ball. Gerard on Padula. Kid inside Long. This time they don't miss at the rim. Boy, really nice defense by Long, and it's not too often you see a guard rip the ball out of the hands of North Chad O'Meara. Oh. Look at Kid, the turn and score. First field goal for 6'10 senior transfer Lynn Kidd. O'Meara has two fouls on him. They really need to try to find Kidd. Here's Lynn Kidd for the dunk. Not that they can't guard, but everybody talks about their offense. O'Meara lost it. Out of there comes Nickel. Leaves it for Kidd in the dunk. He led them in scoring last year. 44 games started in this how Kareem Bailey. I mean, I'm sorry, Butler. Right here, Lynn Kidd with a nice, nice screen by NC State. NC State is feasting on their guards from Virginia Tech. Good Kidd to Bing. Barron for two. Nice mid range jumper. First bench bucket for the Wolf Pack. Kidd in transition, clobbered. They're going to count the continuation, yes. Here's Zachary and BC now in their first chance, and that got poked away off the dribble. Padula, Kidd to finish. Off great in transition, Sean Padula to Lynn Kidd takes it up. On the country, there's McLaughlin. He was outstanding, got his own miss. So League Bay with post, had it slapped away and Ooh. turned over. Here is Collins. Oh, my wow. This crowd here at the castle with this turnover and hammer. 
their last road game, they take a really good Clemson team to double overtime and win that game. So getting their first taste of ACC play on the road and great atmospheres like this one, they've done. Oh, that is tough, but then on the other end, beautiful post-entry pass and one by Kidd. Padula in attack mode, leaves it for Kidd, who hammers it home! Gator leaves it for Kidd, count it plus the foul! Virginia Tech feasting inside tonight. Defender right here again. Look at him. Freeze it and then right there, the dime to kid. That has been the problem all night. Who are the best shooting team in the conference since ACC games got underway. There's Kid open. Underneath, he'll slam it. He's not been able to practice a lot lately because of the knee and then the ankle injury but can always make a difference in there. Jumping to the other side of the iron. Beautiful move by Lynn Kidd. True post presence here in Blacksburg. The footwork, the spin move, the reverse. Lynn Kidd getting it done on the... Glory days for the Hurricanes when they went to the Final Four. And they shot out of the gate very quickly this year, too. They were 5-0. and They were ranked in the top 10. Barron again, almost the exact same shot he made in the opening minute. So missing him the last couple of games has been a huge factor for the Canes. Kid trying to back his way toward the paint. But that left hand, that's a pretty play. But still got into a shooting pocket to knock it down. Yeah, his second home was Disney's wide world of sports with all the sports he played. And that's a true story. He played everything. Going for the dunk, but he can't do it. That was Nigel Pack. He wanted a foul, no call. Padula right to the basket, throws one up, and the finish! Collins. As we mentioned, the Hokies have struggled to get it inside. There's Kid. In traffic and scores. Lynn Kidd's second field goal of the game. Padula. He's working on Beekman. What a nice get on the baseline. A handoff. Kidd with the stop. For the Hokies. Well, falling behind. They're taking the leader 24 to 14. Virginia falling behind by 10. And another turnover. And a bounce feed for Nickel, who's had a hot hand coming off the bench. Kidd with another touch. Give him two more. He's having a big half. Now Sean Padula looking more comfortable on the offensive end. Into the paint, that'll be off the fingertips of Miner. Collins shovels, can with a stop, and fat dunk. Stuck around, and he is the heart and soul of his team in terms of the verbal communication. He is their leader and their vocal leader. There's a great set coming out of the timeout. Kid with the dime, trying to fit in. But he said the biggest turnaround the last two months has been the everyday work as Lynn Kidd slams it home. The everyday work outside of practice he's been putting in with Jerry McNamara. Virginia Tech run. He's done a little bit of everything, but in this last... On the drive, Padula finds Kidd. He's got all five for the Hokies. A much better defensive presence by Virginia Tech. Covered out on shooters, very active. Second half, but uh, I've seen some great interior passing. I expect them to get in the tournament and win a couple of games as well. Right now in that five spot, but one of the many teams who could get that double bye. Jalen Ganey, the grad transfer from Brown, with the lane to get him back within one, and there is Lynn Kidd, the senior from Gainesville, Florida. And what an interesting career he has had. And there they are taking advantage of that switch right over the top of Primo Spears and Kid lays it in. Jaden Young back into the game. Kid inside and he's got a chance at a three-point play. Watch Tyler Nickel cuts basically to the elbow and that gave him the angle to drop that in.